Hi Anna, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and I just had my last like exam conversation thingy with my teachers and I'm done. I can't, I can't even believe it. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm done with all of my extra courses. I have nothing else to do. It's just, it's all done. I, now I'm just off from school. I don't have to go to school for at least a year. I don't have to learn things that I don't want to. Just so happy. I'm so happy. I'm kind of speechless, actually. <laughs> I brought my graduation cap, cap up here, just for fun. So I feel like I'm kind of graduating today, except that, you know, I graduated last year. So I'm not actually graduating today, but I had my last exam and all of my friends had, you know, their last exam last year. But I chose to have these extra courses because I'm stupid. And now I'm done. No more. So I have to go, you know, deliver my books later. I'm leaving in like 25 minutes. Just watching everything, Louise. And I went down and I bought some ridiculously expensive candy because I thought that it was time that I just treat myself and have fun and yeah just buy candy because I wanted to and there's the little kitty she always lies in the window like this and I'm like look at her feet Aspen is working today and this entire week actually and tomorrow is Friday and I'm just going to be home I have nothing that I have to do. Ah, oh, it's liberating. And then tomorrow night we're actually going out to eat. And it's a big thing for us. We never go out to eat. Okay, so actually what I haven't told you guys is that at first I was, you know, looking at jobs and applying for several jobs. And I really wanted, you know, a job because I had no money and you need money to travel and I wanted to travel. But it was hard because I had no money and nobody wanted me. Then it said in the application that I have to, you know, write my former boss's name and number. And then I have to write my former boss and ask him if it was okay to write his name and number. And then he said that yes, it was okay, but my old job would soon be starting again. And another department of, you know, where I work, they had an open, like, position for me. He asked me if I wanted to do, you know, get into that. And I was like, yes, please. You know, it's, it's money and... And then he kind of trained me to do that and <clears throat> used, like, a few hours. And that and I had like this try lesson on Monday and then Monday evening I got a mail saying that I had been picked out to go to this job interview that I really wanted where you have to uh, accompany uh, some handicapped people wherever they wanted to go and that's one of the places that I applied for but I never thought that I would get invited to come to an interview but I did and then I went yesterday and I think it went rather well and it did because one and a half hours later I got a phone call saying that they'd like to offer me the position and I'm starting the 1st of July I'm so <sighs> everything is just perfect right now well, you don't know if I failed my exams. I won't know until like a week or so. But I don't think that I failed any of them. And no matter what, I'm done. So it's okay. 
But now I think that I have to tell my, you know, old boss that I can't do the new job, at least not as much as I thought I could. And I feel kind of bad because he just you know, taught me how to do everything and spent several hours on it. And but this other job thing where I have to accompany the handicapped people, really something that I want to do. But honestly, I just can't believe my luck these days. So now I'm just going to enjoy this like last weekend and then on Monday I will have some part of the job. Okay, it's time to go. I'm bringing my boots and my purse. This is a little leather purse. I bought it six years ago. I love it. I'm going to take this one downstairs because I'm, I'm not going to go out in public with it. Are people going to congratulate me and I actually graduated last year. That wouldn't be fair to this year's graduates. I'm gonna go and I'll see you there. So I just got home. It's 7.15 p.m. right now. After I went to my school where I dropped off some books from this semester, I went straight to church to sing in my choir and have some lessons. And I was like eight minutes late or so. I hate being late. But there was so much they were fixing the roads everywhere, so I have to take other ways and it, well, it was terrible. But now I'm gonna go in and Espen, he made me dinner and I'm really hungry. Oh. So I'm gonna go in now. It's now 10.15 and um, I came home and Espen made some delicious curry. We watched an episode of Merlin and then he went to bed at 9 because he has some early shifts um, this week and next week as well. So yeah, and then I started to watch Avatar. It's been so long and I've just some reason wanted to these past days. And you can see the little kitty here massaging the blanket. It's in a trance almost. But I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the night and probably still have an hour and a half left of the movie. It's fun to just watch movies and not care when you're going to bed. And I ate some chips and I have a glass of cola, which I usually never drink soda, but I thought that today was like I could do anything because I'm done. I think I'm gonna eat some more candy in a bit. Now my baby's coming. <laughs> oh yeah. Now we're ready to keep watching the movie. Okay, the movie is over and it's almost 12 am. So I'm about to go to bed, but first I will write a, write a quick to-do list for tomorrow. So tomorrow's, you know, my day off. There's nothing that I have to do, except maybe the dishes. But there's a lot of things that I want to do, like make a video and post it and everything. So I'm just quickly going to write my to-do list and then I'll be going to bed.
of a bed, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Come on, Vena. It's almost 9.30 in the morning. So, I slept for a long time. Well, I've actually been awake this past hour. I've just been lying in bed and watching TikToks and just being on my phone. And this is at work. I'm gonna get up, get the things checked off my to-do list. But it's really nice here yeah, in bed. Also, this little kitty snuggles. changed into another outfit because I'd forgotten that I was supposed to be painting today and as you can tell I already have paint on here and also where is it? this right there it won't come off I've had it for almost a week now it hates me that's okay I'm gonna go uh, make my breakfast and then I will painting again. I, it's a whole lot of time later. It's 20 minutes past four now. And Espen still hasn't come home. We are leaving in 30 minutes to go out to dinner. And after that we're going home to his parents' house for the rest of the weekend. And he hasn't packed anything and he, he's not home yet. And I know that he will need to take a shower and stuff like that. So I'm a bit concerned. I should definitely get ready. I showered and changed into a dress. You'll see it better in a minute. I think I will start packing and getting ready because yeah, we're leaving soon and we're going to eat out and I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be delicious. Greenish dress and it goes up here and has kind of this elastic up here. I think it's really nice and I bought it on sale. We like that. <laughs> and there's plenty of room to eat and I'll need that. Okay, so he just got home, he's in the shower and he says that I don't have to help him with anything. Um, I'm kind of debating whether I should have bring like closed shoes or if sandals are okay because not supposed to be less than 20 degrees this entire weekend but it still might be cold for my feet can't really tell but they're just so easy so easy to wear i'm just gonna wear 
And also it's kind of supposed to rain tomorrow. But I don't like wearing my raincoat. So I won't. I'm just gonna wear my cowboy jacket. What do you call that? Like denim jacket? In Danish we call it a cowboy jacket. And jeans, it's like cowboy trousers. Wow, I never thought of that before. Hey guys, I realized that I completely forgot to make an outro for this video, so this is it. Um, I We just got back from Esben's parents. It's Sunday, so the, this video will be up in a few hours. But thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. We've been talking for an hour. We just can't find the end. We won't understand each other. I wonder how it feels to fall asleep and love the one that's next to me. I don't know why I'm stuck around with you. I've been talking.